What's up guys, we are back with the latest news. When we talk about the Android smartwatches, Samsung is the name that comes on top. They went ultra with the phones, ultra with their tablets, and now possibly going ultra slash pro with their watch as well. Yes, according to Samable.com, Samsung is planning to make a Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, which will make the whole lineup consist of three watches. As the name suggests, it will bring a beefy battery upgrade, possibly making it the best battery life on a flagship watch. Watch. The Pro version could have a 572 mAh battery. This capacity was actually confirmed through Korean certification, so we know that this battery size is indeed coming with the Samsung Watch this year. In comparison to the Galaxy Watch 4 from last year, which had a 361 mAh battery, the Watch 5 Pro has a nearly 60% increase in the battery capacity, which is incredible. It's expected that Samsung is upgrading battery on all models for the Galaxy Watch 5, so it's gonna be absolutely Epic. Now something amazing could come with the Galaxy Watch 5 as Samsung is looking to implement a groundbreaking body temperature measurement sensor. According to AT News, Samsung has devised a technology that can measure body temperature as accurately as possible. This function could help in the early detection of COVID-19 and other possible diseases. Apart from all this, we are expected to see a new design change, a faster chip and of course better software features with the upcoming Watch 5 series. All in all, it seems like Samsung is very serious this time around for their Watch 5 series, especially with the Watch 5 Pro. I really hope it turns out to be true. As for the release date, we could actually see this being announced alongside the Fold 4 and the Flip 4 in August of 2022. Now, speaking of Fold 4 and the Flip 4, according to the latest report from Korea, the upcoming Galaxy Z series won't have an under display camera, which means we'll still be greeted with a side fingerprint scanner, which is actually fine and very fast. I would still 100% and prefer a side fingerprint scanner over an in-display fingerprint scanner that can potentially damage the screen if you press it too hard. Maybe we're not there yet, but possibly in the future, we could see the under-display camera on a folding display. Now, good news for Samsung keeps on coming as the company has reported the highest revenue for Q1 2022, about 50% increase in the operating revenue compared to the last year. It's all thanks to the combination of strong memory chip sales and the Galaxy S22 series which sold about 20% better than the S21 series. One source even says that Samsung has shipped about 6 million units of the Galaxy S22 series. We'll see a full revenue slash sales report from Samsung later this month. So that is all for today. Let me know your thoughts about the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro in the comments below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.